is up you guys welcome back to another one if you were new to the channel i am gold pony and today i am extremely happy i am in the 2020 bmw m340i courtesy of apple bmw in york pa i can tell you right off the bat the second i let off the gas it's pop 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 from the exhaust it's absolutely wonderful but so anyways, BMW actually began production of the 3 Series back in 1975. The original 3 Series was actually only a two-door. Of course, then it progressed to a four-door now. But the 3 Series is still BMW's best-selling car out there right now. So therefore, we are in this one today. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so the base BMW M340i sedan will start at $54,000. M340i X-Drive sedan, meaning the all-wheel drive, that is gonna start at $56,000. And of course, there are a million different options you can add to this one to increase the price quite substantially if you wanted to. But so powering the beast is going to be a three liter twin power turbocharged inline six cylinder, not a V6, inline six cylinder engine, putting out 382 horsepower, 5,800 RPM, 369 pound feet of torque available at 1,800 RPM. Power is gonna be sent to rear wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters, giving you a zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 4.4 seconds with a top speed of up to 155 miles per hour. All in all, that puts MPG numbers at 22 in the city, 30 on the highway, taking premium unleaded fuel. And so before we do any kind of accelerations or test out the paddle shifters, which we will, of course, be doing, did want to mention there are some drive modes located just to the left of the shifter. Those drive modes will include Eco Pro, Comfort, Sport, and Sport Plus. And of course, Apple BMW was nice enough to leave it in Sport Plus driving mode for me. So... I ain't gonna change it. And so essentially those drive modes are going to adjust things like the shift points, throttle response, and the steering sensitivity. And so now I think it is time, you guys, let's try out the paddle shifters actually first. What I'm gonna do is put the shifter all the way to the back and to the left. That is actually gonna give me full control over the shifting, meaning the car will not shift for you. It is essentially a manual mode with the paddle shifters. So that's kind of cool. So let's go ahead and test out the paddle shifters, see how quickly they react. If they're like any of the other BMWs I reviewed, I have a feeling they're gonna be just fine, but we have to do it. So let's go ahead and hit the gas here. Let's test out the paddle shifters and see how they do. Yeah, they're quick. They're flipping quick. I always love the BMW paddle shifters. They're so freaking quick, instantaneous really gives you full control over the car if you wanted it but if you didn't want it just slide the shifter back to the right there and once again the m340i takes over control so now it is time let's do a quick little acceleration see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed all right here we go you guys oh my gosh <laughs> why do i love it i love it it is freaking ridiculous slams your head not not slams it gently slams your head into the back of the headrest it's absolutely wonderful headrest is pretty comfortable by the way but wow that acceleration is breathtaking we'll definitely put a smile on your face every single time you hit the gas without a doubt but to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important so with this being the m340i you can expect there are m sport brakes to go along with the name 13.7 inch rotors up front with four piston front calipers 13.6 inch rotors in the back with single piston rear calipers and when it comes to the braking feel it's great as expected, it is great. But so then touching on suspension and handling a little bit, there will be a double pivot type front suspension with an anti-roll bar and stiffer spring struts, comparatively speaking to your standard three series, I guess. Five link rear suspension with cast aluminum upper transverse arms and twin tube gas pressurized shock absorbers. As far as the steering feel goes, at least in that Sport Plus driving mode, I have left it in my entire drive today. It is a nice weight to it, it is a heavier feel definitely points you in the direction that you want to go very easily so to go along with that steering feel of course this is a bmw this has the very best steering wheel grips in the business in my opinion at least it does have thicker 10 and 2 grips than just about every other steering wheel out there and i absolutely love it still the best feeling as far as steering wheels go touching on ride quality of course that has been completely fine we actually do have the uh 
the N adaptive sport suspension. So it is gonna monitor each shock absorber individually. This is an option, by the way. So it is gonna adjust the suspension based on the road conditions, road imperfections, if you will. But also it is gonna tighten up the suspension during heavy cornering, giving you the best of both worlds. So that is definitely nice as well. As far as cabin noise goes, Again, absolutely no issues. We're in a BMW, it is as expected. The, the best part about the cabin noise is when you let off the gas, I gotta say, because that little bit of crackle that you get from the exhaust that we have here is absolutely amazing. It does make you feel like you were in a very high performance car and essentially this is a high performance car. It hits 60 and 4.4, it's, it's wonderful. But then touching on visibility, I can see perfectly fine out the back. We are in a sedan. You almost never have any issues, at least when it comes to visibility in sedan. So that is definitely nice. And also to add to that visibility, there is a head up display I'm looking at right now. Another option that we do happen to have today, but that is telling me my speed, my RPMs, the speed limit. It's gonna tell you of any given road so you don't end up with any speeding tickets. So that's gonna help better keep your eyes on the road. Also with visibility, you will have rain sensing windshield wipers that will come standard. So if if it starts drizzling even they will automatically turn on for you just kind of like the automatic headlight feature so you don't ever have to worry about hitting any extra buttons and you can focus more on the drive which is very important in a car like this so but that is about it for performance let's now move on to the exterior of this 2020 bmw m340i all right you guys are still making your way to the exterior up front front and center you have what looks like kind of a diamond block front grille wrapped with the perimeter in a satin chrome. Definitely looks good up there. And of course, the whole front end of the M340i is definitely gonna have a more aggressive appearance, comparatively speaking to the standard three series. And to complement that, you do have some side air ducts here. That is gonna direct air around the wheel, just around the side here, so kind of little aerodynamic cube. When it comes to the headlights, there will be LED headlights with LED daytime running lights. That will be the standard setup. And I put it that way because BMW laser light technology is available. And I'll get more into that later in the video. But now let's make our way to the side a little bit here. To the sides, you are going to find power folding heated side mirrors and they will come with a satin chrome finish with integrated turn signals there as well. Zooming back a little bit, you are gonna find black window surrounds. There are M specific 18 inch double five spoke alloy wheels that will come standard. And by the way, they are a staggered fitment, meaning back wheels are gonna be a little bit larger than the front wheels. 18 by 7.5 inches up front, 18 by 8.5 inches in the back there. And they will be wrapped in performance run flat tires. And there's actually several different wheel designs as expected or BMW available for the M340i, so that's nice too. But in any case you were curious, the fuel tank is going to be on the passenger side and you will find a shark fin antenna located on the roof up there. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the back. There is a very, very small rear spoiler that will come standard with the M340i back there. Also just underneath that M340i badging, of course, LED tail lights are gonna come standard. So that is definitely nice and nobody rear ends you. Rear parking sensors, you guys can see those near the bottom there. That's gonna allow the M340i essentially to beep at you if you get too close to any objects. So you don't go hitting anything. And just below all of that, dual exhaust outlets with powder coated tips. So you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. <laughs> Now, since we are around back as far as opening that rear trunk goes, there is a button on the key fob. So simply just press that if you like. That's what I did. But there, there actually is a button up underneath. So you can press that as well if you like. And then once opened up, there's a button on the actual trunk itself. So if you press that and walk away, it's going to close itself. So all of that is definitely pretty convenient. But once opened up, cargo capacity is going to come in at an even 17 cubic feet. And if that was not enough space for you, there is a 40-20-40 split, meaning those rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space there if you needed it. Making our way up to the rear legroom, that is going to come in at 35.2 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. So 
it's enough for me definitely a little tight but it is enough for me did want to also mention for those rear passengers there is added rear ventilation back there there is a rear center armrest with cup holders and there are rear heated seats that are optional for the rear passenger so that is available if you wanted it and i do mention that because we do happen to have them today but also for the rear passengers there are two phone charging ports as well as a 12 volt power outlet for them as well but then Make your way to the front seats. 14-way power adjustable front seats will come standard and they will include four-way power lumbar as well as two-way power side bolsters. And I'm always a fan when vehicles offer those side bolster support because not everybody is the same size. So to help hold you in place a little better, they definitely come in handy. It's also memory settings for up to two different drivers. Standard finish will come with a Sensitec upholstery. Leather finishes are gonna be optional and there are actually several different color, interior color options for the seating so that's available for you as well and, and if you wanted heated and ventilated front seats those are actually going to be optional as well but now let's take a look at the steering wheel here it is tilt and telescoping it is three spoke leather wrapped and there is that m logo at the bottom there heated steering wheel is going to be optional that's going to be just above the m logo we do happen to have that again today and the paddle shifters are definitely heavy duty and again the 10 and 2 bolsters on this steering wheel and just about all BMW steering wheels are absolutely amazing. But now let's get to the startup. Let me first start by showing you guys the key here. This is the M340i, of course. So you do have the M colors on the side of the key. Really everything though is gonna be on the one side of the key. It is a heavier weight to it too. So that's kind of a nice feeling, but lock, unlock. And by the way, that lock button is the BMW logo in the middle, but also that button to pop the rear hatch. But it is all keyless access, so I am simply just gonna put my phone on the brake, leave the key in my pocket, and press that engine start button, which is located just to the left of the shifter there. But so then once started up, you will be greeted with a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster. BMW definitely does this very nicely. Speedometer is gonna be on your left, as well as a digital speedometer within that. Tachometer is on your right. There is a navigation display that is gonna be displayed in the center there. And of course, this is all completely customizable including the driving modes that's probably the most substantial difference eco pro is going to give you a bluish hue comfort is going to give you more of the basic setup and of course sport and sport plus is going to be more of a red hue to it so overall definitely a big fan of the gauge setup there touching on overall interior quality power moonroof it is going to come standard and it's actually a deeper power moonroof than you usually see in vehicles so it's not panoramic but it almost is. It's a pretty large power moonroof. So that's definitely nice. That is standard, by the way. Universal garage door openers for up to three different garage doors can be found just located just under the rear view mirror there. Also, anthracite headliner will come standard. There's gonna be M-specific aluminum foot pedals, also standard. And there's actually several different interior trim options available. Aluminum trim is what we have today, of course. There's ash gray wood, oak wood, maple wood. There's quite a bit of different trim options, essentially, is what I'm getting at here. And I do like the two-toned interior that we have today, with the top part being a black color, the bottom part being more of a tan, so definitely looks good there. And of course, in the doors, both driver and passenger have extra cup holders there as well as just in front of the shifter there's an additional two cup holders there as well and just in front of those cup holders you are actually going to find a wireless phone charger along with a 12 volt power outlet and a usb connection port which is just in the middle of those cup holders but just behind those cup holders you do have the shifter of course there's also going to be your electronic parking brake all your drive modes and just to the right of the shifter one of the two ways you can control the tech display is the circular dial and buttons and it is actually an easy way to control Control that using all of that it is touchscreen as well and since we're getting into it let's touch on that tech display a little bit it would be a 10 and a quarter inch color touchscreen display and it can be controlled again by two ways the circular dial and buttons or touchscreen display it will come standard with bluetooth and audio streaming and apple carplay with a one-year trial after that, you have to pay for Apple CarPlay. No Android Auto, unfortunately. But on the flip side, the M340i does come with a factory navigation system that comes standard. So mostly that is what you use Android Auto for anyway. So that's going to be there for you. And you can, of course, check out some of your car statistics up there. There's also going to be weather information showing us that uh, it is kind of cloudy today with a 2% chance of rain. Odds are in our favor. And you can, of course, check out your radio settings as well up there. And by the way, when it comes to the sound system, standard set will be a hi-fi 10 speaker sound system with 205 watts which include three tweeters four mid-range speakers two bass speakers under the front
front seats and one mid-range center channel speaker. So having emphasized all of that, what do you say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> Plenty of loudness, bass is absolutely ridiculous. Ton of bass on this sound system. Honestly, I absolutely love it. The speakers really are everywhere. They're coming off the doors. There's one center mounted speaker here and they do have a nice look to them in the doors as well. They're kind of incorporated with a nice design there. So overall, definitely impressed with the sound system. But last thing on the tech display I wanted to mention to you guys is when you do put the M340i in reverse, you will get a rear view camera that will come standard. However, there is an optional surround view model monitoring system there and that is actually going to be the button just to the left of the shifter so if you wanted to press that you have a surround view camera and there's a couple different options you can control using that as well you guys can probably see if you tap the car to the right you can click each individual camera and it will show you exactly what is around you that is absolutely amazing i think it's kind of cool that they show kind of a a view of an actual M340i, not of course the real one that you're in, but still it's pretty cool that they show the car there when you do that, but definitely a fan of that 360 degree monitor that they have there. But as always, that is going to lead us into safety. And so to start there are front side and side curtain airbags, also driver and passenger knee airbags up front. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Dynamic radar cruise control will also come standard, but there is a plethora of optional safety features available for the M340i, including automatic high beams, adaptive LED headlights with laser light. And that laser light technology by BMW is essentially the very brightest that lights are allowed to be by law, so that is pretty cool. Blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert will also be optional as well as lane departure warning, frontal collision warning with pedestrian detection, automatic emergency braking, and parking assistant plus. And we do have that parking assistant plus feature by the way. And so what happens there is there is a little box that you just hit to check off and that's gonna check off automatic parking essentially. So that's gonna be essentially where the M340i steers, brakes, and hits the gas for you to pull you perfectly into a parking spot. And so, but anyways, that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe if you enjoy new car reviews. That is what this channel is all about. After all, feel free to follow me on social media if you like there, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold. All right, so for this one, you guys, we're gonna end this particular video with some BMW eye candy. Enjoy. Enjoy.